Welcome to our channel medicine A to Z. Today we are going to discuss about Tinea corporis or ringworm infection. Microbiology. Tiania infections are caused by dermatophytes. Dermatophytes are filamentous fungi in the genera, trichophyton, microsporum, and epidermophyton. Clinical features of Tinea corporis. Initial symptoms. It starts as an itchy, circular, or oval, red or darkened, scaling patch or plaque. Progression. The infection spreads outward, with central clearing and an active raised border remaining. Characteristic appearance. This creates a ring-shaped plaque, which is why it's commonly known as ringworm. Clinical subtypes. The major clinical subtypes of dermatophyte infections include infections of the epidermis, hair, and nails. Epidermis. Tinea corpus. Infection of body surfaces other than the feet, groin, face, scalp hair, or beard hair. Tinea pedis, infection of the foot. Tinea cruris, infection of the groin, proximal inner thighs or buttocks. Tinea fasciae, infection of the face. Tinea manual, infection of the hand. Hair, tinea capitis, infection of scalp hair. Tinea barbi, infection of beard hair. Nails, dermatophyte onychomycosis, tinea unguium. Diagnosis. Physical examination. Start with a detailed physical exam of the affected areas. Look for signs that match or don't match dermatophyte infections. Epidermal infections. For conditions like tinea pedis, tinea corporis, or tinea cruris, use a potassium hydroxide, KOH test. Scrape the skin and examine it to confirm the infection. Complications. Secondary infection. Dermatophyte infections can lead to secondary bacterial infections, especially in moist or covered areas like the feet. Tinea incognito. Sometimes dermatophyte infections are misdiagnosed as eczema. This can lead to the wrong use of topical corticosteroids. Corticosteroids can worsen the infection and change how it looks, making diagnosis harder. You might see reduced redness, less scaling, and a loss of well-defined borders. Majaki's granuloma. Misdiagnosis and improper treatment can lead to deeper skin infection forming granulomas. Treatments. Management of cutaneous dermatophyte infections. Topical therapy. Most skin infections from dermatophytes can be treated with topical antifungals. Effective agents, azoles, allylamines, butenafine, cycloperox, tolneftate. Oral therapy, used for extensive infections those unresponsive to topical treatment, or infections involving follicles, dermis, or nails. Medications and dosages. Turbinafine, 250 milan once daily for one to two weeks. Itraconazole, 200 milas once daily for one week. Fluconazole, 150 to 200 milan once weekly for two to four weeks. Griziofulbin, 500 to 1,000 milan milan per day in single or divided doses for two to four weeks. Ketoconazole, Use of oral ketoconazole is no longer recommended because of risk for severe liver injury, adrenal insufficiency, and drug interactions. Overview of individual topical antifungal therapy. Clotrimazole, available as 1% cream, lotion, ointment, and solution. Apply twice a day. Myconazole, comes in 2% aerosol powder, aerosol solution, cream, ointment, powder, and solution. Apply twice a day. Ketoconazole, Available as 2% cream, gel foam, and shampoo. Apply once a day. Efinaconazole. Comes as a 10% solution. Apply once a day. Turbinafine. Available as 1% cream and spray. Apply once a day. Certiconazole. Comes as 2% cream. Apply twice a day. Butenafin. Available as 1% cream. Apply once a day. Stay updated with the latest in medicine. Subscribe to our channel for comprehensive videos covering the latest updates in the field.